Hey, I'm Carthen Audio. Have you ever wanted to own a Carthen flannel? Well, now you can. Go check out my merch store, Crowdmade. Thanks. Enjoy the audio. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for coming by on such short notice. Huh? Oh, I am... I'm fine. It's now or never. If I don't tell her now, I never will. Actually, I... No, I'm... I'm not fine. My fingers? Oh. Actually, it's... it's why I called you here. It's about your peace. Am I shaking? Well, uh, that's because I... I made a mistake. I need to tell you what I've done. The truth is, I'm terrified of telling you what I did. I'm so used to bottling up my emotions, so... Please forgive my... scattered words. For months now, I've had the pleasure of getting to know you with each and every visit. It was like you were ceramic yourself. <laughs> with each visit adding more color to your shape and vibrancy to your design. I don't remember when I fell for you. Though I'm sure it was within the first month you started coming around. Then... One day, you said you had someone special in mind, but you were stumped and couldn't make a decision on what to paint for them. Your eyes lit up when I suggested the mug, and you took on the project with a fire in your eyes that I'd never seen before. What struck me was the way that you looked when you worked on it. It wasn't another silly craft to be slapped together with some paint and tossed into the kiln without a care. This was the embodiment of your heart, a, a testimony of your feelings. The way you held it in your hands, it was as if you were cradling the most precious thing in the entire world. I wanted you to look at me with that same adoration and affection. To be something, or rather someone, that inspires you. A man you could be proud of and happy to call yours. But when you told me who you painted this mug for, I... I was completely overwhelmed. And so white, hot rage swept over my entire being, and a fit of burning jealousy that I've never felt before blocked out every rational thought. It was as if the earth under my feet suddenly stopped, and time stood still as my entire world slid off its axis. I... I couldn't see anything. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't... Without a second thought, I allowed myself to be swept away by my anger, and I... I'm sorry. Give me a moment. Let me... Come on. Just show her what you've done. It's... It's your mug. Or what remains of it. You had trusted me with both your mug and your heart, and in a single moment of selfishness, I broke both. 
I have no excuse for my actions. Looking back, I, I should have responded in a way that honored your feelings instead of reacting out of anger. I, I just didn't want to lose you. I didn't want... No. No, I... I can't lose something that was never mine to start with. What is she talking about? She must not understand this is my problem. I know that an apology means nothing without action, so... I made an appointment for this afternoon with a therapist. While I am afraid of what will happen or what I may learn about myself, I know that I need help. I can't be controlled by my erratic emotions or impulses. I, I want to own them rather than be run by them. So that I never hurt the person I love ever again. Any ceramic you choose to paint for the next five months will be covered by the studio. I, I, I also understand if you'd rather not return and I can compensate you another way. Just please forgive me. I never intended to let my feelings get so out of hand. I, 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 what are you doing? Careful now, don't, don't go digging through those shards. You'll cut up your fingers like I did. What are you looking for? The handle? Um, okay, here, let me help. Here we are. Yeah, surprisingly it remained intact. Huh? Look under it? Um, all right. <laughs> No, she can't have my name. Why is my name painted under the handle? It's me, isn't it? I'm your crush. The signs. They were there all along, weren't they? How did I miss them? I fucked this up, didn't I? Shit. Shit. What are you... You're... holding my hands. You want to... what? Why, after everything I've done, would you offer to come with me to my appointment? You shouldn't be here, cradling my hands and looking up at me like... Like... Like I'm someone worth looking at. Because that's how I look at you every day. I mean, how could I not? You are the most beautiful person I've ever known. Inside and out. No one has ever made me feel the way that I feel about you. <laughs> what are you doing? Um... You know, typically, customers aren't allowed back behind the counter. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're... You're hugging me. Why?
That. That was beautifully spoken. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for forgiving me. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. We should get going. Maybe afterward we can have a talk about how I can make up for the trouble I put you through. Bring you back here. Why? So that you can start painting me a new mug. You know, it's... Stuff like that that makes it really hard not to just... Grab you and kiss you. What's stopping me? As of now, it wouldn't be right to take one more thing from you. Believe me, I want to, more than anything, but as I said, I want to be someone worthy of you. And I know I'm, I'm not there yet. Well then, shall we head out? Hmm? The shards? Oh, if it's... All the same to you. I think I'll hang on to them for a while. It'll remind me to walk the straight and narrow. After all, I have a long road ahead of me to meet you where you are. <laughs> well, if you insist on waiting for me, I won't stop you. I'll catch up to you one day. I swear it.